Hello there. The new Range Rover Velar is here, and it has got some upgrades over the old Velar. Although nothing much changed in terms of design, but therefore in other critical departments. Like the engine was changed for example. In this video we will go over everything new and interesting in the new Velar, so enjoy. Let's head right into the inside of the new Velar. First thing I noticed, the new gear selector. It's not the dial anymore, although I like that one better. Also we get a new steering wheel design with leather and that brings me to the vegan friendly interior. You see if you want, you can get the vegan free interior, which I don't understand, just call it what it is, fabric. Okay. We all know fabric, no need to over promote things here, it's just plain fabric. But don't get me wrong, I like the fact that you can order it without any cow. But that's like saying, shit, I don't know any good example, but you get the point. Other than that marketing trick, the inside stays pretty much the same, which is a good thing. Like the two screens in the center console, and you see all around only lovely materials used. Color combination is yours to decide, and I believe we talked about everything. Let's move on and go right to the engine part of this video. They replaced their V6 petrol and V6 diesel engines with a straight 6 cylinder engine with mild hybrid technology. And there is also a plug-in hybrid with a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. Combined with an electric motor they put out 404 horsepower. All four wheels are driven by an 8 speed automatic gearbox. 0 to 60 is given with 5.1 seconds, which is quite good for this heavy car. For the electric motor, we got a 17 kW battery that can be charged with 32 kWh, so it takes a bit over 30 minutes to fully charge. And with an electric motor, there comes normally regen braking. The first part of the brakes is only the electric motor getting charged, and only after that the standard brakes kick in. So for the back seats, there's not much new, and that's very good. We still have the same legroom, the same beautiful materials and overall enough space for the kids. Ok, this has nothing to do with the back seats per se, but still the trunk can technically be made bigger when folding the back seats down, so it still counts. The trunk capacity is 552 liters, but in the plug-in hybrid it's only 503 because of the battery packs. Ok then, let's go over some features that stand out in this new Velar. First of all, let's get the negative stuff out of the way. The plug-in hybrid is not available with air suspension. Why? I don't know, don't look at me. The plug-in hybrid weighs in at 2.1 tons, which is quite heavy, but not as heavy as the new Maybach GLS 600 from last video. That one weighed in at 2.7, nearly 2.8 tons. Video here if you want. Also there is no spare wheel in the plug-in version. So you see, only disadvantages for the new plug-in hybrid. Now the good stuff. Sound cancelling all around, surround view cameras and stiffer suspension are standard. As well as 4 driving modes, electric only, safe, hybrid and sport. I believe they are all self-explanatory, but just in case. Electric only is electric only. Safe, saves electric energy as much as possible, hybrid is your go-to mode, and sport, yeah, for more sporty driving. Ok then, that was it already. This one or the new Maybell GLS 600. But also consider the price of both cars. Let me know what you think of this car and this video. Have a great day, and as always, keep it floored.